When we talk about productivity, one product often comes to mind, the Logitech MX Master Series. For years, this line of mice has set the standard for people who demand comfort, reliability, and clever features that make work faster and smoother. Whether you are editing video, designing in Photoshop, crunching numbers in spreadsheets, or simply managing endless browser tabs, the MX Master has been a faithful companion. But now, the next generation is on the horizon, and leaks about the Logitech MX Master 4 are stirring a mix of excitement and doubt. Today, we are diving deep into these leaks. We'll break down what's new, what's refined, and what might disappoint loyal fans. We'll explore the subtle upgrades in design and materials, the surprising changes in functionality, and the eco-friendly choices that Logitech is making. At the same time, we cannot ignore the one major downside that could frustrate a lot of users. So, let's take a closer look at this leak, piece by piece, and uncover whether the MX Master 4 will be worth your attention. The source of the leak. Before we even get into the details, it's important to talk about how this information surfaced. Interestingly, the leak didn't come from a mysterious insider or a blurry photo shared in a forum. Instead, it appeared in the most ordinary way possible, an Amazon listing. Amazon Italy briefly published the MX Master 4 product page, complete with images and a full feature list. It didn't stay up for long, but not before Notebook Check, a well-known site for tracking hardware news, grabbed screenshots and documented the entire listing. Now, you might think this was just an accident. Maybe someone hit publish too early. Or maybe, just maybe, Logitech wanted a bit of buzz before the official announcement. Whatever the case, we now have a clear look at what Logitech has been cooking. And what's fascinating here is not a total reinvention, but rather a thoughtful refresh. Logitech seems to be perfecting a formula that already works well, while sprinkling in new tricks to make the MX Master 4 stand out. Familiar but refined design. Let's start with the design. At first glance, the MX Master 4 doesn't look dramatically different from its predecessors. And that's not a bad thing. The MX Master shape has always been about ergonomics. It's sculpted to fit the natural curve of the hand, with a thumb rest and carefully placed buttons that let you work for hours without strain. Logitech knows that this formula works, so they aren't reinventing the wheel. But look closer, and you'll notice subtle refinements. The silhouette is almost identical, but Logitech has made tweaks that make the mouse more practical. The thumb area now features a forward button that is larger and easier to find without fumbling. The gesture area, where your thumb usually rests, now has a stronger visual callout. It's not just about style, it's a reminder that this space has gained new functionality. And here's the kicker. Half the internet looked at the leaked photos and thought Logitech had removed something important. At first glance, it looked like the cable was missing. And technically, they weren't wrong. We'll get to that later, because it's one of the more controversial parts of this leak. But before we talk about what's missing, let's talk about what's been improved. Cleaner, stronger materials. One of the common complaints about older MX Master mice is that they don't age gracefully. If you've ever owned one, you might know the feeling. Over time, the soft touch rubber coating can collect fingerprints, smudges, and grime. Some users even reported the coating breaking down after heavy use, which left the mouse looking worn and feeling sticky. Logitech seems to have heard these complaints loud and clear. The MX Master 4 introduces a new approach to materials. The main click buttons are now made from a textured, clear hard plastic that resists stains. In plain terms, that means fewer smudges, easier cleaning, and longer durability. You won't have to worry as much about your mouse turning into a fingerprint museum. This is not just a practical choice, but also part of Logitech's larger push for sustainability. The company has been increasing its use of recycled materials across its product line, and the MX Master 4 is no exception. The graphite version reportedly uses up to 54% recycled plastic, while the light gray model uses 48%. On top of that, the battery is said to use 100% recycle. D. Cobalt. Now, to the average user, these numbers may not mean much. But in the bigger picture, this matters. It shows Logitech is serious about reducing the environmental footprint of its products without compromising the premium feel. And that's an important balance. People want eco friendly tech but they also don't want it to feel cheap or fragile. By choosing new materials that are cleaner, tougher, and greener, Logitech may have solved both issues at once. A new gesture experience with haptics. Here's where things start to get really interesting. For years, the MX Master has had a gesture button near the thumb. 
you could press and hold it, then move the mouse in a direction to trigger shortcuts, like switching desktops or opening windows. It was a powerful feature, but the button itself always felt a little mushy and forgettable. That changes with the MX Master 4. According to the leaks, Logitech is giving this button haptic feedback. That means when you press or swipe, the mouse will give you a small vibration, a subtle buzz, to confirm your action. At first, this might sound like a gimmick, but think about it. With haptics, you won't have to look at your screen to confirm that a shortcut worked. You'll feel it instantly, and it gets better. The vibrations are customizable in Logitech's option software. You could set them to be stronger or softer, or even assign different feedback to different actions. This could completely change how people interact with their shortcuts. Instead of guessing, you'll know right away if you hit the right gesture. This is the kind of upgrade that doesn't just add a new feature, but also improves the way you already use the mouse. It makes gestures more intuitive and satisfying. And for power users who rely on muscle memory, that little vibration could make all the difference. The actions ring, a new way to work. But Logitech didn't stop at haptics. Another leaked feature is what they're calling the actions ring. This is a dynamic overlay that changes depending on which app you're using. Imagine working in Photoshop and instantly having a radial menu of tools pop up. Or editing video and quickly accessing timeline controls without memorizing new shortcuts. The actions ring could be a game changer if Logitech executes it well. The key will be the software. If it runs smoothly, feels natural, and doesn't get in the way, this could become one of the most used features on the MX Master 4. On the other hand, if it's clunky or inconsistent, people will ignore it. But given Logitech's experience with productivity tools, there's reason to be optimistic. This feature shows Logitech is not just thinking about hardware, but also about workflow. The MX Master Series has always been about efficiency, and the actions ring seems like a natural next step. Instead of adding more buttons to the mouse, they found a way to give you more options without cluttering the design. It's smart, it's subtle, and if it works, it could set a new standard for productivity mice. Stronger wireless and quieter clicks. Now let's move under the hood. The leaked listing mentions a new USB-C dongle and an upgraded radio chip with a stronger antenna. What does that mean in practice? More reliable connections. Anyone who has used a wireless mouse in a crowded office or cafe knows the frustration of lag or dropped connections. With this upgrade, the MX Master 4 should deliver smoother performance, even in busy wireless environments. Then there's the sound, or rather, the lack of it. Logitech claims the MX Master 4 will have clicks that are 90% quieter. That's a big deal. One of the subtle annoyances of working late at night, or in shared spaces, is the constant clicking. It can be distracting to others, or even to yourself. By making the clicks almost silent, Logitech is creating what you could call a stealth productivity tool. You can rage through emails at 2 a.m. without waking up the house. And here's the best part. Despite these upgrades, the battery life remains the same. The listing says around 70 days on a full charge. That's impressive, considering all the new features being added. Logitech has managed to improve the experience without sacrificing endurance. The controversial missing cable. Now we come to the elephant in the room. The leak suggests that the MX Master 4 will not include a USB-C charging cable in the box. And that's a first for this series. Every previous MX Master has come with a cable, so this is a noticeable change. Why would Logitech do this? On the one hand, it's easy to see the eco-friendly argument. Most of us already have USB-C cables lying around from phones, laptops, or other devices. Including another one might feel wasteful. Removing the cable also saves on packaging, which reduces environmental impact. But here's the problem. Convenience. Imagine buying a premium mouse and realizing you can't charge it out of the box because you don't have a spare cable handy. It feels incomplete. And while Logitech may argue this is a step towards sustainability, many users will see it as a step back in customer experience. This is the major downside of the leak, and it's already sparking debate. Some people will shrug it off, happy to save the planet. Others will be frustrated, especially given the high price of the MX Master line. It's one thing to skip the cable on a budget product, but on a flagship productivity tool? That's a harder sell. The polling rate debate. Finally, let's address the one thing that hasn't changed, the polling rate. For productivity users, this may not matter much. But for video editors, designers, and especially gamers, it's worth noting. 
the MX Master 4 still doesn't support 1000 Hz polling. Instead, it remains around 125 to 250 Hz. What does that mean? In simple terms, polling rate is how often the mouse reports its position to the computer. A higher rate means smoother, more responsive movement. Many gaming mice already support 1000 Hz, which makes them feel snappy and precise. By comparison, the MX Master feels slower. For most people doing office work, this won't matter. Browsing the web or editing documents feels perfectly fine at 125 Hz. But if you're dragging elements across a large canvas, scrubbing through a high-resolution video timeline, or gaming casually on the side, you will notice the difference. And since competitors are already offering higher polling rates, Logitech's decision to stick with the old standard feels like a missed opportunity. In the end, the MX Master 4 feels like a smarter, quieter, and cleaner evolution of a classic. It keeps what people already love, adds subtle but meaningful upgrades, and takes a small gamble by removing something from the box. For some, it's a worthy next step in productivity. For others, it may feel like a half measure. The question is simple. Do the upgrades outweigh the trade-offs for you? Because that's what will decide whether the MX Master 4 becomes your next daily driver, or just another release you wait to skip.